Uh, Neil, just an inquiry, uh, wondering where, if you're feeling, particularly at a creative low point, where you get your inspiration from to come up with such amazing tales and amazing uh, subject matter to write your stories about? Um, what you've actually done there <laughs> is ask the question that must not be asked of writers. Um, you've rephrased it ever so slightly, but what you've fundamentally done is say, where do you get your ideas? And writers um, are awful to people who ask us where we get their ideas. <laughs> We, we get mean. We don't just get mean, we get mean in a writery way, which means we'll make fun of you. Um, and, and we do that... I'm not afraid. <laughs> and, and the reason we do that is because we don't really know. Um, and we're terrified the ideas will go away. So every writer I know has a funny answer. And, and you know, um, Harlan Ellison used to say that he, he got them from a little idea shop in, in Schenectady. Um, <laughs> I knew a writer who, when asked, would say he gets them from the idea of the month club. And people go, really? He goes, oh yeah, every month they send you an idea. <laughs> um, the truth is, I think, um, for me, inspiration comes from a bunch of places. Um, desperation. <laughs> deadlines. Um, a lot of times, ideas will turn up while you're doing something else. Um, and, and most of all, I think ideas come from confluence. They come from two things um, flowing together. They come from essentially from daydreaming. It's that point, and I suspect it's something that every human being does. Um, writers tend to train themselves to notice when they've had an idea. It's not that they have any more ideas or, or get inspired more than anything else. We just, we just notice when it happens a little bit more. Um, but you're just thinking. You, you go, well, you know, everybody knows that, that if you get bitten by a werewolf, when the moon is full, you will turn into a wolf. You know that. There's that moment where you're sitting thinking, so what happens if a werewolf bites a goldfish? <laughs> <laughs> and or, or that moment where you start thinking, well, actually, what happens if a, a werewolf sinks its fangs into a chair? And what if you're sitting in that chair and the moonlight touches it and slowly it starts feeling more and more wolfish and then it growls and, and you know, and then what about the, oh my God, then, then you'd have to set it in the winter because you'd need the snow for people to try and figure out why you've got chair leg marks in the snow <laughs> by the body that's had its throat ripped out and, and suddenly you have a story. Um, so that's... So, so a lot of it is daydreaming. Um, I wish there was something... I, I always feel I'm, I'm in some ways disappointing people when they ask, where do you get your inspiration? Because what they really always want is the answer. <laughs> they want you to be able to say, well, what you do is 11.58 at night, <laughs> you go down to the cellar, you roll the goat bones. <laughs> There'll be a banging on the door. It will open. This thing will fly in. It will explode. You'll have a, a, something like a chocolate. You eat it. You have an idea. Um, and, I don't know. You make them up out of your head. <laughs> 